so in this lecture so we will be studying the last part of looping and that is the jumps in loop so we will be studying about jumps in loop so what does it mean so let's take one example so i want to print just the even numbers so the question is print even numbers so we want to print the even numbers so what i can do is that i can say that okay if so we will start with the for loop so for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 10 i plus plus and then what we can do is that we will check that if i percentage 2 so if this is not equal to 0 which means it's not an even number or basically it's a odd number so then i will say continue and here i will do printf percentage d and then slash n this will be a comma and then i so let's see now what happens so what i have done is i have used a new keyword continue so what it means is that if this condition is true then it will continue so basically for all odd numbers for all odd numbers this will be true and after this continue so it will never execute the rest of the body of the for loop and it will start again so that's why what happens now is so i is equal to 1 initially so 1 percentage 2 is 1 which is not equal to 0 so it continues i becomes 2 now so 2 percentage 2 is 0 so this continue is not executed it comes to this line so 2 is printed i becomes now 3 so 3 percentage 2 is now 1 which is not 0 so this continue follows this print f is not executed so now i becomes 4 4 percentage 2 is 0 and hence the continue is not executed and print f is done so it will print 2 4 6 8 and 10 after which the for loop will end so this is about continue so what continue does is it leaves rest of lines of the loop body and it starts starts again so this is about continue so the general format will be so something like for a while loop some conditions will be there then some lines of so this is body part a then if we have if some condition then i will say so continue and then this will be body part b so this way if the condition becomes true and this continue is followed so after that so only body part a will be executed and body part will b will not be executed so now just take the opposite of this one so which is now break so what does break do so while 
some condition so again so if i have if some condition and then break so what will happen is that it will be a kind of i will exit from the loop itself and i will go to the next line which will be the end of the loop of the for or while loop so i will come to this part so let's see some example of like i should only print negative numbers okay so let's have something like i have int x is equal to minus 10 now i do while x is less than 10 i do printf percentage d slash n and x so what happens now is that this will print for me all the numbers and then of course i have to do x plus plus so if this is the loop so it will print for me numbers minus 10 minus 9 minus 8 and it will go on till 9 but what we want is that we want to print only negative numbers okay we want to print only the negative numbers so what we need to do is that we want to have some correction and in this part we will write now if x is greater than equal to 0 then break so these are the lines that has to be added here which means now that if x is greater than equal to 0 then you break and which means we exit and the control will come now to this point after the for loop so this is about break statement with exits so the last thing that we are now going to see is about go to so go to is a kind of jumping so this tells that okay to the compiler to jump to some position so for example let's see what we do is that so we have a code while something so if some error then I write go to some label which is stop and what happens here is so afterwards I have a stop label here I have some piece of code which will be executed here so this is about the go to statement and this ends our looping and just one thing that is left is concise test test expressions concise test expressions so what does this mean so if we write something like if expression is equal to zero then do something so this is equivalent to if expression so this means if expression is equal to zero and similarly if expression is not equal to zero so this is equivalent to if expression so these two are equivalent and hence if we have some statement like if m percentage 5 is equal to 0 and um, n percentage 5 is equal to 0 then it means both are divisible by 5 so but we can write it more precisely as if 
m percentage 5 and an n percentage 5 then so these two are equivalent so this we have to write a knot here so these two are now equivalent so this ends our lecture so we learned about jumps in the loop so we learned about like print even numbers so how to do so we used a continue here so that is for leaving some part of the code or in the loop body then we saw about break which exits the loop itself and then we saw go to statement which is which is like at some label the execution will be transferred so thanks for listening to the lecture please subscribe to Saurabh school of computing which is this channel